The education sector was also affected by the passage of Hurricane Elsa, which battered St. Lucia on Friday, 2nd July 2021. Chief Education Officer Dr. Fiona Philip Meyer on Tuesday indicated that a number of damage assessments have been conducted in an effort to manage the conditions at education institutions across the island and restore conducive learning environments. The Chief Education Officer explained that the majority of the damage was incurred at schools in the south and at the Boca Secondary School in District 3. We have a few of our schools, particularly in the Sufra area, where water was impacted. So as of today, that school had to remain closed. In District 7, we have four primary schools that suffered a lot of water damage and debris, so it had to be cleaned up. But what we looked at were individual schools and what their needs were. For the most part, all of the cleanup happened on the weekend, so our students were able to come in. And for example, at the Viewfort Primary School, we had part of the roofing of one of the buildings being lifted. So we've cordoned off that area. Dr. Philip Meyer said that the Department of Education is currently working with relevant entities to repair the infrastructural damage caused by Hurricane Elsa. So it's really working with our building people, our technical officers on the ground, our health and safety officer, our education officers to make sure that we can offer up until the 9th of July a safe environment for everybody, our students and our staff. Schools island-wide are actively preparing for the closure of the third term of this academic year on July 9, 2021. The Chief Education Officer informed parents that they will be informed when a definitive date has been decided upon for the release of the common entrance examination results.